Hi, and welcome to Studio Binder Academy. I'm Brandon. In this lesson, I'll be covering how to set up and customize a project for your needs. Now, what features are needed can greatly depend on the type of project you're working on. Luckily, Studio Binder's production management solution is completely modular and allows you to set your project to your specific needs. So here I am in my new Studio Binder account. And as you can see here, there's a message that lets us know that all of our work will live inside of projects with a create new project button here. So I'm going to click the new project button and in the pop-up, I'm prompted to give the project a name. I'll name mine Migrate Film. Now I already entered my production company information when setting up my account, so this has been automatically filled in for me. But if I needed to, I can change it here. But since I don't, I'll click next. On this next page, I'm prompted to select the project solutions. This is where you can begin to customize the project for your needs. By default, all of the project solutions are enabled. You can tell which solutions are enabled by the check mark to the left here. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the specific features you might need will depend on the type of project you're working on. For example, if I'm working on a narrative film, I'm going to leave all of the solutions enabled as I'm going to be using every feature within the project. However, let's say I'm working on a photo shoot. In this case, I know I'm not going to be writing anything, so I can disable the write solution. On the other hand, if I'm only looking to write a script and nothing else, I can enable the write solution and disable the other solutions. Just keep in mind, as we can see here, these can always be readjusted later. So with my solution selected, I'll click Create Project. This takes me to the project overview page. On this page, you'll be able to adjust the project features that were selected for the project. So even if you didn't select a specific solution for the project when it was created, or if there's a specific feature in a solution that wasn't selected, you can click here on the project features button and a drop down menu will appear for you to enable or disable individual project features. This is all non-destructive. So if you remove a project feature and add it back, any information that was there before will still be available. To navigate back to the projects page at any point, simply click the Studio Binder logo here and you'll be redirected to the projects page. So as you can see, Studio Binder's modular production management software allows you to customize your project to your specific needs. In the next lesson, I'll be covering the collaboration features in Studio Binder. Be sure to like and subscribe to be notified when new lessons are added. I'm Brandon with Studio Binder Academy. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.